and you can hear the crowd as Lorenzo, the Loke Carter, gets ready to make his way to the EFC cage. Yeah, Lorenzo Carter coming out here. I, uh, <laughs> you know, Lorenzo's a, is a, is a, is a very... Lorenzo is a damn character. Let's just very, be real. He's a very good striker. Uh, you know, comes from a very good striking gym. I do believe that uh, Frencher will probably be looking to grapple. Uh, you know, uh, Glory Glory has uh, some, some great strikers, but you know, for the most part, those guys, they have great success in grappling everywhere, you know? I, the one thing about Lorenzo that I love about his game, he throws one of the greatest looking uppercuts ever. And I really love, that's like his signature go-to move. And like, I just love, he just comes and punches that. Like, you know, I'm pretty sure he'll look to land a couple on Devante Frencher and get them on out of here tonight. This is, uh, this is uh, a high level, high level amateur MMA right here. You know? So when a person like Frencher comes from, uh, a uh, successful gym like that, you know that he's in the deep waters every single day. Yes. Yeah, so he's, he's at a gym like Glory, and he's in the deep waters every single day. And it's, and it's uh, you know, it's, it's something that's, you know, it's, it's something to be said for that. This is our feature bounce on the undercard here tonight at EFC 14. Butcher versus Carter. Man, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a banger, man. I'm super excited for this one, man. I've seen it on paper. I was like, okay. Here he comes, stepping into the EFC cage, Lorenzo Lope Carter. Let's head up to the ring with Chris Gerhard for the official introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is scheduled for three rounds in the EFC featherweight division, and it's brought to you by Top Shot Paint Repair and Marine, Second Chance Bail Bonds, and Giorgio Piatti. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, this man is a mixed martial artist with an amateur record of three wins and four losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 148 pounds. Fighting out of glory MMA by way of Kansas City, Missouri. Please welcome Devontae Frencher. And his opponent, With an amateur record of three wins and three losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 139 pounds, fighting out of the gym, JMTK, by way of Wichita, Kansas. Please welcome Lolo Carter! Yeah! versus Carter, our feature undercard bout here at EFC 14. Referee Sam Kleinback, the third in the ring. Round one, underway. Frencher in the red and black. Like Carter in the black with the gold lettering. Here we go. That kick, that kick number two for Carter. Frencher looks to press the page. Carter has a circle to the right. Sit, good jab, overhand. Carter circles out of ring. Frencher steps across. Nice head kick right there. Nice little one, two, turns back right in. There. Carter wisely takes the center of the cage. And Carter switches stances. Now he's in the southpaw stance. He's going to be looking for the left. High kick here or the left leg kick. Oh, oh nice overhead right. Overhand yeah, head right. Kick. <laughs> that connected also was. I was like, yeah, we in a okay, fight right. now. So come back with the head kick. Yeah. The check. All right, you check the first kick. All right, check it again. Yep. Carter again. Carter getting loose, keeping his hands low. I, I, uh, you know, he could get low to sleep here. Uh, obviously, a powerful man like Frencher can you know, throw the big right hand just like that. Carter's got to keep an eye on that, keep his face. And you know what happens when you get low to sleep? Let's go nighty night. Uh, another late kick lands for Lorenzo. Hands big down, man right down. Oh, nice exchange right there between both these boys. Yes, sir. Carter looks sharp. This is high level yeah, amateur boy. MMA. Carter circles away. 
Pritchard with the tape, nice flick. Yeah, like you said, Cody, this is a testament to these guys. They're amateurs, but this is definitely high level, high energy, high hot action here right now going down in the ESCK, baby. Frencher's uh, corner, Jen Krause, urging him to uh, cut, the ca cut the cage off instead of uh, following Lorenzo Carter out. And then and what's happening is here, he's trying to press, 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 Lorenzo to the cage. Bang, straight two. One, two, one, two again from uh, Lorenzo. Lorenzo, come back with a head kick. Frencher looking to put him on the cage. Big right hand, and it's didn't. Look out. Lorenzo, with, I whip my hair back and forth. I whip my hair back and forth. He looking to whip Frencher. Also, oh, and Frencher goes there for the tank now. Pull the body, pull the body. Pull the body. Backside on the body. Be in the middle. Immediately, you can hear these guys talking. Uh, you know, both corners are in front of um, Lorenzo's court, court, Carter's court here, and you can hear the Glory MMA corner uh, urging. These guys, they, they train a lot of ball wrestling. This is, uh, this is where he hopes to uh, put some win on the fight. I'll tell you, he's trying to get that level change, and he finally gets so uh, down. Got him in half guard right there, Cody. Ten seconds to go here in round number one. So we're gonna see here if the, how how uh, much that last takedown weighs, how much that takedown weighs on the uh, on the scar because obviously uh, Carter was winning the, stri the striking. We'll see uh, if that takedown what, what the judges look like here. I don't really know what's expected from anyone. Yeah, because yeah. it looked like you know Zoe was controlling that round early, you know, with the kicks and the strikes, and then you know Frencher got that late takedown at the end of round one. He didn't really score a lot of damage with the uh, takedown. Our he beautiful didn't get ring girl, Alex, indicating round two coming up. Our ring girl sponsored by Supplement World. Make sure to get out there, check out Supplement World for all your supplement needs. I uh, fully expect uh, Frencher to uh, more urgently pursue this takedown here. So we'll see how Lorenzo's uh, going to make adjustments as well. Yeah, like Devontae didn't look like he was out of the fight. It's just look, it looks like he's gonna have to like start listening to what his coaches are saying. The fight is fought in game plan. If the fight is at range, and uh, obviously it's Lorenzo's fight. It's uh, if the fight is on, on the you know on the cage, then he, Lorenzo's gonna have a, a, a lot tougher time. Here we go, round two underway. Carter versus Frencher. There we go again. Again, again. Nice kick. Over. See both nice these boys just think. standing in the middle of the cage right here, exchanging blows. Go big here, go big here. Keep going, pressure. Make it fight you, Devontae. Crack back on the go. Make kick go, from go. Lorenzo. He circles back out. Trying to stay off the cage. One, two, slip. French is looking to be more busy this round. You know, he's looking to come and get in Zoe's face. You know, Zoe controlled that first round. One, two. Just like that. Lorenzo right on the mouthpiece. Just like that. Oh, French is back. Now we're fighting here, ladies and gentlemen. French came back with his own. Kick, check, kick, check, kick. Double leg. Stop by Lorenzo. Keep pressuring him. Go, go, go. French are easy, Jack. Beautiful. Keep pressuring him. Trade a couple of shots right there from Carter. Give him a little smile back. Yeah, kind of just smiled at him. Like, yeah, smile back. We're having a good time. Yeah. Frenchers are really respecting the uh, leg kick now. We go ahead and show that check quite a few times here. Uh, you know, Carter with the height and the range advantage, so you know. One, two, Frenchers are trying to. In and out. Pop, pop, in and out. You see, Frenchers are trying to get on the inside, get in there. Lance, some big shots on Carter. Two. Yeah, Carter goes to the body. That was a pretty good decision. I do believe that one hurt. If you see Frenchers' hands immediately go down off the body shot. Look at him, he's moving, he's running. Huh? Yeah. This is the first time you see Frencher go backwards, and I don't think that Lorenzo recognized that. I don't think Lorenzo recognized that Frencher was hurt. You see, so just, just trying to check him, just trying to see where he's at. Uh -huh. uh, now back. he goes back to the body. You can definitely see Carter is feeling very calm, very in control here in round number two. Hey, speed him up that next time. Speed him up that next time. Single bull. Let's go. Delete him. You got to go. Come on, take a look. 
You hear Devontae yeah, Preacher's corner yeah, telling him he has to go. Yeah, great, he has buddy. to do something. You gotta throw more. more Obviously, with Lorenzo winning that first round on all three judges' scorecards, it's looking like he's gonna get the second round too. Unless he does something big, man, like he's not doing a whole lot, Cody. He's just, he's just chasing Carter, man. You're right, he is. It's like Lorenzo's a game of landing, tag. And that's what it is, a game of tag. Lorenzo's just winning the tag game. He's, he's hitting him and not getting hit. But that's the name of the game. That's the name of the game. Oh! Oh, Stop nice. the takedown. Stop one. Stop the, the stop. Can I stop the second one? Let me stop again. He's still turn. He's trying to, try to take the leg out from underneath him. Lorenzo's got to square up and get back in there. Look at him hook the leg. Nothing. No takedown. And round two right there. Man, so Carter caught him right there with that hot one. And Fruitier was like, oh, no, we got to switch this up. He's got caught with a couple of them. I'm like, I'm surprised Carter ain't hit us with one of his signature uppercuts in the fight yet. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for him to hit us with one of his signature uppercuts, which I know he loves. But he's the ones that he's connecting on. They're definitely changing the mind of Devontae Fruitier. Because when he gets caught with the hot one, you see he immediately goes in for the level change. And just like that, Lorenzo Carter is up 2018, going into his third final round, man. So as we say, Fletcher don't need a home run. Or he's just gonna need to knock that boy out. Right. He's gonna need it's exactly what he's gonna need. He needs to stop it. Uh, it's two rounds to none. And uh, in Kansas, he knows that. He knows that it's uh, two rounds to zero. And so he's got to go. Yeah, this is the, 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 the time is over. He's waiting. He had he has six minutes to wait. Now he got three minutes. Here we go. Third and final round underway. Lorenzo Carter versus Devontae Frencher. Oh, and Carter comes right out and hits him with a nice Straight punch left hand. Hit him with a nice more, left. More, 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 Frencher landed his own left hook there. Uh, Lorenzo acknowledged it, you know, said, oh, you got me on the cheek, but it don't hurt. So it's uh, usually when that happens, uh, you know, it did hurt. Oh. Big double leg, right into the triangle for Lorenzo. Right into the triangle. Can Lorenzo He got the arm, or he got the triangle, he popped his head out, passes the guard. He's going to go back in the guard, he's not out of a while yet. Uh, Lorenzo retains the guard. This is, a, this is a quite a, that was a good exchange here, good exchange. What a, what a way to go right into the triangle. I, I think he's gonna try to go back for it. The only thing is, it's so late in this third round, now they're, they're sweaty, they can't really get real leverage. You know, you just slip out, it's like oil on a pig. <laughs> just, it's not gonna work, man. Good. Lorenzo running a, a modified rubber guard here, controlling the posture of, of Frencher here. And, uh, you know, French has got to get busy if he wants to, you know, he needs a stoppage. And, you know, right Come here, Lorenzo can lose this round but win the fight. Out, yeah, pull that, out, that, pull that out. definitely is. Oh! He got an arm. He's oh, still he got that arm. French is going to get out go. of that, obviously. And but he's going to have to work. Nice hey, this man is hey, going to have to do some work, man. He's going to have to do some work. Carter back up to his feet with a great stand-up right here. Absolutely great move by Lorenzo to get up off of his back and get back to his feet. Now, can he get up off the cage and finish French off in style? Carter turns him back onto the cage himself. Yeah, he throws some knees to the side. Nice yeah. knee. Cut to the other side. Cut to the other side. You know, and that's unfortunate for French because he used all that just to get so down to the ground and then couldn't capitalize and do anything with it when he got down there. But he almost got choked out the triangle. You gotta go. Hey, butt to that side, butt to that side. French is just looking hey, to his corner G -G 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 -G. for some last minute advice. Just anything. We continue to work on the cage here. Make it work, Lorenzo Cubs. with uh, double under. He's still working that body lock. It looks, uh, you know, he's, he steps in between the legs here on the body lock. He's gonna look hey, to secure his own takedown here. That's fine. Go for it. Go for it. Go for it. Oh. Oh, he went for the choke. He had and to. You know, Frencher had to go for the uh, choke. 
He had to, he had to do he something, had to Tony. Something. He had to do something. Let's go, you know, buddy. He needed, he, has to, he needed to stop it. It's not over yet. Ten second round. You know, he had to, he had to go for something. All right. Man, no risk, no reward in this game, man. Sometimes you just gotta lay it all out on the line, man. This is a, uh, a big right win. There. A big win for Lorenzo. A big win for Lorenzo. Big time win for Lorenzo. I know his daughter Lyric is probably super excited to see her daddy get the W here tonight at EFC 14. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna have the judges tabulate the scores here and, and see what's happening, right? So as we close our, the amateur portion of our card here, you know, with, uh, with a great fight, great technical fight between Devontae Frencher and Lorenzo Carter, uh, we're gonna go ahead and move into uh, our pro card. It's gonna be it's a, it's a special thing, man, a special thing. Everybody exchanges hands here. Called a fight, but it's it's just a uh, it's just a match. Ladies and gentlemen, we go to your fight. judges' scores. No, After three rounds fight. of action, all three judges score this contest 30-27. Declare your winner by unanimous decision. Low Carter. Lorenzo, the Low Carter gets the victory here tonight at EFC 14 over Devonte Frencher. Absolutely incredible display by both of these guys. Great win for the team from JMPK and Lorenzo Carter. It's a big win for Lorenzo Carter as we uh, close the amateur portion of our car. We take a short intermission before we get to the pros. And let me